Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's Minister Paul. It's not after dark. It's actually quite bright and hot today. Um, 1.33 p.m. out here on the West Coast on 6.4 wood. Amen. Hallelujah. So, this is what I'm looking at right now. And I want to share this. This will be going on uh, Patreon and Rumble. You know, it, it's interesting that this is a trigger event. So, what was prophesied occurred in less than 24 hours. But it was actually repeating a prophecy for one of the seven states. So, so let me tell, let me tell you guys the information. I'm not sure what God is, is doing with this ministry and YouTube. I don't know. I, I'm praying and praying over it. Like, I'm really not led to post as much there anymore. And, it, and it's almost like I feel in a way it's like become repulsive. I, is it just me? I mean, like the, there's people literally that work for the government who are evil, who pose as Christians and live their lives on YouTube. That's their job is to harass Christians, but they pose as Christians. It's really bizarre. And, and they've been doing it for a long time in this ministry since day one, actually. But uh, this let, let's jump to today. So just. I'll be keeping in prayer if you would pray along with me as to the direction for the next uh, several months, few months, maybe just today. I mean, who knows, right? So, this morning I woke up and I saw, amen, thank you, Jesus, Lord, we praise you and we bless your name, Jesus. Oh, we praise you and we bless your name, Lord Jesus. Tell them the information they need to know. Less of me and more of you, my dear Jesus. Speak, Lord. I, so in a vision, just immediately upon waking, I go into this open vision. And it's the seven states that I evangelized uh, if if you've been with me that long, in 2015 and 2016, God put it on my heart to go coast to coast. Oh, yeah. I want to show you some stuff, so this will be good. I may play this on YouTube. It just depends on... I'll release it on Patreon first, but it's just going to depend on how the conversation goes. If If the Holy Spirit leads me away from the terms of service of YouTube, and sometimes that happens, then I'm going to flow. So it's always going to be here on Patreon and stored either on the website or Rumble, if that helps you. Plus, we have a Facebook group. I'm not really that active on Facebook. I'm not really into Facebook like a lot of other people seem to be. But I understand its purpose. Anyway, thank you, Jesus. So in the vision, I had to bring up a map of the United States. Okay, in, in the vision, just this morning, so the date would have been June 4th, 2021, I saw the seven states I visited, and they were, like, decayed. It's, it's like they hadn't been cared for. It's hard to explain. But I, I saw the condition of, of the seven states currently, today, that I the the God pronounced judgment on these seven states representing the USA. That's what it represents, and uh, that was in 2015 and 16. The, these seven states, He showed me those states. They were dilapidated. They were run down. They were dark. They had no trust or faith in God. They weren't serving God, and basically they were under His judgment now. And they just looked impure. It 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 that God it God he 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 gives like a a voice over on this, and he says they used to be so pure and wholesome, 
and beautiful. And now my judgment has arrived. So judgment is here, folks. I mean, and he showed me the seven states. But judgment is upon the USA right now. I don't know what the enemy is telling anybody else and stuff. But I'm telling you what I've heard from the Holy Spirit is judgment is upon the USA. And it's, uh, it's actually upon the whole world. So he shows me the seven states in this vision this morning. So here's, so let's look at the seven states starting from the, the west coast and go to the east coast. So I started in California at Fort Bragg on the coast right up here, just north of San Francisco in this northern California area, Fort Bragg. So I read Revelation 6 on that coast. So you could see, and, and, and just follow me on this, there were seven states. What I'm about to show you isn't in order that they were visited, and I'm not certain if there is anything to the order that I was sent out. But there was a couple states like Ohio, for sure, and uh, Minnesota, particularly uh, Minneapolis, that God told me don't go out to Hawaii. Uh, Ohio and Minnesota and so I didn't but I documented what was occurring during that time frame at that time and Continued to prophesy. So here's the seven states starting up here on your left top of your screen, Oregon We sounded the alarm in Oregon If you come down here and go south, we sounded the alarm in California Twice we started at California and we also marched, we gathered together and we all marched a Jericho march around the capital of uh, Sacramento, uh, California. And so then when you come down here, now the Lord showed me this, so that's two states in a row, they're connected, they're bright. And then here comes Arizona and we went to Phoenix. This is pretty amazing because they're connected again. It's like God was showing me this coast. I know this sounds crazy, but you go all the way up here to the north, right here, Washington, Oregon. And so we were in Oregon and you come down. It's like the, and then you come down, even including Arizona right here. It's all like one area. And I've never seen that before. Those three states cover the entire like West Coast. It's awarded for the West Coast, and that's why he had me start at Fort Bragg and read Revelation 6. And so, if you come down here, see New Mexico, I didn't go to New Mexico. It's really interesting, but I did go to Texas. So, I don't know why I, I wasn't led to go to New Mexico, but I just obeyed God and I went to Texas. And so, look, it's, it's just... Coming down along the the southern coast, you see what I mean? And I went to Oklahoma. So look at this. So I went to Colorado. So basically, I was working from west to east. I went to Colorado, and I went to Oklahoma. Look, they're connected. I've never seen this before. And I went to Texas, Dallas, and Houston. Uh, and, and you could see that it's also connected. And then the Lord is reminding me of the hurricane warning, and I've seen it coming up from this area. Um, I was going to go to Arkansas and didn't make it, but that's where they moved the Ten Commandments from, uh, from Oklahoma. We did a Jericho march around that capital. And you come down here, I visited Georgia near the CDC and, uh, and rebuked like pestilences and stuff, but they're here now. It's part of the judgment and the coming wrath. I went to North Carolina. So they're all, it's, it's interesting. They're all connected in one way or another or on the border. Just literally covering like the bottom half of America. I don't know what the message is to that, but I want to go back to the message I uploaded. Uh, it's uh, just made yesterday and it was an update getting caught up on the latest and uh, the title is MP off the tube, just like I am right now. I believe so. We'll see. 
discussing UFO disclosure and mandatory vaccines, all fulfilling prophecy. So the Lord gives me the keywords to use for the titles for years now. So we're looking at a UFO disclosure. We're looking at mandatory vaccines. This is going to happen. And the trigger event, I'm telling you, this is going to happen. I'm not getting no shot. I'm not, I'm not one of these people that's going to sit out here and condemn people. I believe that everybody, this is how I believe, okay? And so you could test the spirits on this, and you could test the Bible. This is how I believe. When I see someone struggling, trying to get right with God, or they don't know God, they've never known God, they don't, they've never felt the presence of Jesus, their eyes are still closed, and they can't see it. I, I pray that they receive the same grace that I've received. I believe that we're all under the same grace, that the grace that is shown to us as sinners, because I'm a sinner saved by grace, but the Lord is operating in my, my life in an amazing way, and I'm just going to ride it till it until he stops. I'm just going to keep sounding these alarms till it stops, saints. I feel his presence right now. Help me stay focused, Lord. So this is a trigger event, and, and and this is going to happen. So I'm going to play. I think I can mute the microphone. Let me get a sip of my water. It's serious. It's 1.44 right now. Just was. So I'm going to mute this mic and then play the video. Hang on. Keep everybody the patrons. Amen. God bless you, patrons that support this work of this ministry. Now, this stuff does cost money to do. Nothing is free in this world anymore. Talking about the California earthquake, and, uh, and we got hit with a 4.0, basically right here where I sit, Northern California, a 4.1. So very active. Look up here by Sacramento. So that's north of us where I'm expecting a big one in this area. Where these little ones are. See Eureka and the big one's going to hit off in that area. In between like, I believe it'll be between. I'll tell you exactly where I've, I've shown it before. I believe it's going to be between um, the geysers. And, uh, and, and part of Oregon this Okay, so those earthquakes are hitting right now, and it was less than 24 hours. And so, just so you know, I'll, I'll show you current earthquake maps and stuff. I just want to play one more spot. But I said the exact precise area. Look, I'm not an expert on earthquakes. I have no knowledge of earthquakes. I don't understand the plates and all that like other people. I, I understand Jesus, though. And I understand the calling on my life. And I understand that he's returning again and that he wants none to perish. That everybody, everybody who needs grace should receive grace. I'm not here to judge other people and judge their walk and judge if they're forever condemned. Uh, right now, look, I pray that all should be saved. And be shown the same mercy because, I mean, once you've truly been shown mercy in your walk with God and you know it, that's like, right, God, the only reason I'm still walking right now, even having anything to say about your holy presence at all and how great you are is because of your grace. Your grace over my life and your favor, you see, that is my way into heaven through Jesus, my faith. In his grace through what Jesus Christ did on the cross for me. And, and, and I happened to receive that grace. And God told me go forward in grace. And so these people that are perishing, God doesn't want them to perish without lack of knowledge. So I'm just going to keep talking and warning. I don't know what he's going to do with this current message, but this prophecy is, is fulfilled. And so what the Lord has me looking at is what else was said during this time? What else was prophesied? So let me take you on a little journey here of where I'm at now and we'll all be caught up. 
uh, uh, Sunday I have a service. I'm going to try to make a video on here five days a week uh, for Patreon from Tuesday from Tuesday day to Saturday and then have church on Sunday and Monday is like a get caught up and uh, rest day for me. Kind of always has been. I've just never really said that. Okay, so that's my plan. So there's one more little bit that's mentioned here. I do want to play. Remember, I just, I just, the, the Lord showed me exactly where the earthquake was going to be. The Lord literally had me speak out Neftali before I even knew who he was now. And he's getting ready to change the leadership in Israel. An unprecedented mixed Arab government. I'm telling you, the end of all things is at hand. The Lord gave me the word Neftali. The Lord has shown me a lot of things. So the Holy, I'm not bragging or boasting, man. I'm a nothing burger. I'm a nothing ball in the kingdom of heaven. When I think about faith, I think of like Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and the apostle Paul and, you know, the apostle Peter and Zechariah and, and Sarah and Ruth and Esther and Moses, you know, I, I ain't nothing like those people. You know what I mean? So I'm just humbling myself right now. I ain't nothing even, uh, my name ain't even in the Bible, as a matter of fact. I've just operated through faith. Well, it is. My name, Paul, is in the Bible, but I'm, you know what I mean? I'm not that person. <laughs> but uh, my mom did all give us biblical names. Let me know if you're enjoying this, and I'll keep making these, uh, so I'm going to play the end part of this as lead and then look at a couple other warnings because this event coming to pass today in less than 24 hours is going to trigger the other events that were warned of. This West Coast right here. And so I watched for that. I, I prophesied an earthquake in Greece. That has occurred. That would hit... Right here, 5.5. Well, it says 4.8, but I thought I saw 5.5 there. And I also have one prophesied for the Philippines. Okay, so the only one of those three that hasn't hit yet is the Philippines. And I don't think... Uh, oh, you know what? I had the... I had the microphone off mute while I played that. Let, just in case, let me go forward. It beat my microphone. I don't want no errors in this. Everything, every bit of this is important. I'll beat my mic. I prophesied an earthquake in Greece. That has occurred. Right here, 5.5. Well, it says 4.8, but I thought I saw 5.5 there. And I also have one prophesied for the Philippines. Okay, so back. So of those three, the only one that hasn't happened is the Philippines. I heard about, I heard the dragon was falling and then the Chinese satellite named the dragon fell right at the exact area where I heard Maldives. So I'm saying like, we should all be really paying attention to this information God is giving us and putting our prayers towards that. Does that make any sense at all? I mean, if we see all the other things happening. So so let's go away from this video and, and let's go look at what is currently happening. So you could see this video, uh, this comment, the, the first comment that came in was 22 hours ago. This was uploaded June 3rd yesterday. A little later in the afternoon so less than 24 hours I also mentioned how I heard the word Tammuz did I play that part look 2202 222 I stopped at 2202 I said I heard the word Tammuz right in that time period so here's Tammuz so this is part of the prophecy of the other stuff that's coming true this was also prophesied see so God isn't giving us half true half lies he don't work that way i know a lot of people that are misunderstood they're claiming that and stuff but that has not been the case in my life and walk with jesus he has never told me something false any ever 
since the beginning of my relationship with him. It's just knowing how to hear his voice. It's that simple and yet so complicated. Understanding his voice should be so easy because once you learn his voice, you don't have to learn any other voice. I mean, he is the king of kings and lord of lords. When you get his voice, you could just tune out all the other voices. And I'm good at tuning out all the other voices and not prophesying when I don't feel the Holy Spirit's presence. So we are accountable for what we prophesy. So I heard the word Tammuz. And so a sister in the Lord let me know in the comments that Tammuz is in the Jewish calendar. Because I thought I said, I think it's a month. Or something. So here's the breakdown on this. In the Tammuz on the Jewish calendars, the tenth month. Remember, I kept hearing that word ten, ten. And what what did we learn about the ten in Revelation ten? In Matthew, there's five wise virgins, five foolish virgins, ten virgins total. Only fifty percent of the group make it. And the midnight cry it says it was a mid midnight cry went out. Amen. We're about ready to hear a midnight cry go out. Okay, so it's the tenth month, and it's the it's of the civil, and it's the fourth. I don't really understand this. Anyone want to fill me in in the comments? This would be great. It's the fourth of the religious year, and it's usually coinciding with parts of June and July. So right now it's a rhema now word tammuz see god speaking truth these earthquakes that are hitting now are not the one the biggest one you have to go back to 1700 utc and this uh 5.9 hit it was over a 6.0 but i know this is what they're putting it at see this this was at 14.5 kilometers deep off the coast of Gold Beach, Oregon. You're going to find that that happened in the exact area. God said it would happen. Not me. God said. And, and here's the, uh, the latitude and longitude. So that would came in. And it literally has not stopped shaking since. Let's go to the current. So that's one that hit. There's another 4.7 has recently just came in. Exact, exactly at a depth of 10.0, the 10. Can you believe it? So this is a series of earthquakes. Here it is at, from another look. This right here, where the I is, where it says it, where the I, T is in United, that earthquake, is a, it's an exact 3.7, exact. If you're new to this channel, ask somebody in the comments what's important about the 3.7. 3.7, 10 kilometer deep. 3.7, 10 kilometer deep. Five hours ago. Like, I, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing the church removal in everything I look at. And here's the area where I said it would happen. In, in the Medford area, and I said it would happen somewhere between... I think I said the geysers. Here's the geysers. Just got a little bit right now. The geysers going to blow up. I'm telling you, I live on this coast. I fear God. I'm telling you, I, I have knowledge, man. The geysers is going to blow up when this West Coast thing hits. I'm telling you, it's going to blow up. It's full of steam. The Lord showed me that like next year will be 10 years ago. All these things coming to pass. This thing. So, so see this earthquake right here? So this led me, so this is a more recent one, an aftershock of the original 6, 5.9. And so I went back and I found, when I went to that exact area, Medford, Oregon. I mean, it's literally, if you threw a rock from Medford, Oregon towards the ocean, that's where this thing hit. I've already looked at a map, I know. So I was led down here to look at this when I was in Metford, Oregon. You following me on this? So it was 12, 12. 
I don't know how, but all this is, is uh, significant. It was 12, 12, 15. It was the Oregon part of the Jesus Matters trips of pronouncing judgment. And Oregon was one of the states. And, and James Bergen and I, a brother in Christ and soldier in the Lord. Hey Amen. Uh, we lift him up in prayer to continue and press on in Jesus' name. And we armor up, Lord. We armor up and stand against that, having done all to stand. So, what, uh, there's even an address on here, wow. So, I want to play, at some point, I don't know where it was, I think it was towards the end, I was doing an altar call, but at some point, I pointed right to the area where that 5.9 just hit, and this was on 12, 12, 15, and I said, and it's going to strike that area. Right off the coast, and I pointed to it. I've tried to find that area. I don't know if I will. I'm going to mute the microphone. And then the other thing I'm looking at, again, here's the map of the U.S. and those seven states. On the East Coast, the scripture that was read was Zephaniah 2. So I would read any scripture that's cross-referenced of Zephaniah 2. And... uh at Fort Bragg in North Carolina, I, I was uh, led to read Psalm 91 and said that there would be protection. There would be protection for God's people. This is not his wrath. This is his judgment already here. His wrath is to come. His wrath is like a dark cloud of anger. I've seen it. And it was over the city of Chicago. And I'm working on a message on the Chicago Earthquake Playlist, if you're interested. Let me know if you like getting all this information or if you'd like them uh, shorter. Let me know. I try to point out every detail I can. So in this, here's the Chicago Playlist. I'm on the third video of the series, I think. God's showing me things, I'm telling you. So here is, uh, I'm on the left and... James Bergen is on the right from Colorado in 2000, after we got back from uh, that Medford, Oregon trip. I'm going to play a little bit of it. And uh, I noticed the title after seeing the vision this morning and look and seeing the earthquake in Oregon. Now I'm wondering, well, what was the exact warnings about Oregon specifically and, and et cetera in the West Coast, right? So I brought up the day we went there and the day we got back. So here we are, we're sitting back, and it appears like an hour of content. I've already placed this uh, link to this video on Patreon here. So if you're not on Patreon, you probably won't see this link. It's not on Rumble, but it, it, I, I will ensure that this hour of content, because what we need to do is listen, because li listen to the titles. Listen to the title of the video. 12 14 2015 so exactly two days later miracles from medford and urgent warnings of coming calamity so for in order for me to title that there had to have been some warnings on coming calamity so i'm going to spend an hour and find out exactly what they were if there's anything further if there's anything further that i have to come forward and put forth aside from Chicago event, then uh, I will follow up on Patreon with that also after reviewing this one hour. I'm going to now mute the microphone and play part of that service from that day. And Brother James was with me, co-companion in Christ Jesus, our Lord, declaring Jesus. We was out witnessing the whole uh, hopeless people it was awesome the the fire of the lord was falling us and souls were being rededicated back to jesus people were being baptized but the message truly was god's judgment is going to fall and it has fell and an earthquake has hit that area uh i'm running out of time to warn but i'm going to keep on in love till god says no i'm going to hit the uh, mute button now and play the service from that day
teeth don't have withdrawal symptoms, you don't have to go back and get another bottle or get another peel or get another joint or whatever your pleasure may be. It can guarantee you it's an earthly pleasure. God don't work that way. One time, boom, born again, you're a new creature. What this story I'm telling you of me being at the altar has had this chain reaction on so many different lives, and I continue to go out and try to reach people and reach people. I've been praying for my sister for 36 years. 36 years. And if I live to be another 36 years, I'll pray for her every day. Because I want to see what, because everybody's going to die. I want to see her in heaven with me. I want to see her uh, off of this lifestyle that's leading her to death. She's doing things without going into her business. She don't watch my messages. I'm not even allowed to mention Jesus to her on the phone. And I still pray for her. She's doing things in her life that lead to death. With no fear of God at all. Anybody else doing that? Are you doing things in your life leading to death that you could care less? What if that day's tomorrow? Or would you rather just have miracles follow you. I don't know any other way to explain it. Miracles following you. Favor people. You, you, I'm in Medford, Oregon hugging people because I started a YouTube channel. And they're in front of me now. What I'm saying is what's God's plan for your life? Well, you ain't never going to know it if you don't step into it. You're not going to know God's plan if you don't walk in it or act in it. What if hallelujah what if? What if there's people in your life that are dying that you don't know that you were supposed to go tell, but because of your pride and rebellion in God and your love of this world, you didn't go tell them, and they die, and then you can't sleep at night because you were supposed to go tell them, and now it's on your conscience every single night. What was I thinking? I was supposed to go tell them. I can't live like that. I don't know how people can I honestly can't. It's hard. Is it not hard to fathom as someone who follows Christ closely? Can any testify or bear witness to this? That it's hard to understand why everybody just can't get it. That people are dying. People are passing on. And we have the answer. And we can go tell them. Look, you don't need to be Minister Paul in, in a conference room with the podium. All you need is to take that step have Jesus in your life, you can go deal in your school. Don't do it like I did. Tell them all they're going to hell. So That's not a popular message. It's not. Tell them about love. Tell them how he changed your life. But you're never going to understand the full purpose of your life if you don't accept Jesus into it. You'll never know. You will live and die and be judged. And when you stand before him, the Bible says we will have full knowledge. Then you're going to know. He's going to play your movie back. It says every man will give an account for what he did on earth. You will give an account. There's someone in your life right now. I'm talking to someone. There's someone in your life right now who's headed for death. And God is calling you to go plant a seed of hope into them through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And you should obey him. You don't have to. You don't have to listen to anything I've said here. But I've said it. And I can leave here and say, okay, Manfred, I was here. I told you. Now it's up to you. I'm passing the baton on to you. You, you can not do anything I say. It doesn't change my life one bit when I get back home. I've been with my wife 20 years. But what, it, what does matter is that when he plays your life back, and here's God, and here's you, and here you're bowing, and he's saying, I told you. Now, is it unfair for him to judge you now at this point? No. Because he's told you again and again and again and again and again. And some people, they want to escape this world and be with God forever, and some don't. That's the truth. 
And, and right now you have a choice to choose Jesus. And some of us already have choose Jesus, and that's why we're here. But what if he shows you this movie, and it's all of these things. Look, here's Joe. Here's Mary. Here's Bob. Here's Lisa. Here, I'm just making up names. Here's Ann. Here's Billy. You were supposed to go tell them. Because what will happen is, what I'm telling you today will be repeated. It's called a confirmation. You were supposed to go tell them because they were on their way straight to hell that no one wants to talk about. And I brought you into their life to save them, but because of this chain reaction, and see, it's not just you that didn't listen to, they didn't listen to Minister Paul, and they didn't listen to this person, and that person, and this person, and the next thing you know, you're getting a call. I got bad news. <coughs> Three months to live. And you run in there, but I got something to tell you. And they're in a coma. You ready for that? I know it's a tough message. Are you ready for that day? You think those days don't happen? I'm not. I was a big risk taker before I met Christ. After I realized that everything's eternal <laughs> and how real it is and he shows you things, I'm not a risk taker. I'm not willing to take that risk. I'll drive up to Medford, Oregon in the snow. I will take 100 volumes out of my window in 2006 and throw them into the rain before I live a lie. I will take alcohol and bring it up to the altar. I did this in 1991. See, I can't serve God with this no more. Pastor Paul Trillian, you know where he's at? In heaven. Can't go to him no more. Put the, put the alcohol on the altar, left it there with a pack of cigarettes, 1991. It's marked in my Bible. Never drank or smoked again. How? People go to AA and wear nicotine patches and all this stuff. My sister been smoking 43 years. Been all everything you can do. How can that happen? Because it's a supernatural thing. Hey, Saints, <clears throat> I don't know if you're still listening to this uh, sermon or not. I'm telling you, that's all Holy Spirit, man. I could barely remember. It's like I'm preaching to myself right now. I mean, the Holy Spirit is all over me. There's like a healing spirit. I think that I, it was exactly, if you go back and see when I unpaused and came back, and it was exactly at the 37 minute and 30 second mark and I'm like my goodness I just said 37 is the earthquake in Nebraska I have a I... yes Lord I will I'm going to show you one more thing uh, with the Holy Spirit I will Lord what the Holy Spirit was showing me is that this is going to be Sunday's message I was going to do on Sunday on YouTube I was going to do people of the Bible Joshua and my wife did so much I, I need to pray on this. My wife did so much work, and I'm thinking that I should play this message Sunday, and then, you know, if the Lord tarries, then uh, do Joseph, or uh, not Joseph, uh, did I say Joseph? Joshua. Joshua the conqueror. So I have to pray on that. But at some point I turn and I say an earthquake's going to hit right there. And this is the largest I've seen these two that I showed you uh, since I've said that. And I do watch that area. And then the 3-7 in Nebraska. Let me, uh, let me show you something the Holy Spirit wanted to. 3-7-10, five hours ago, about Nebraska. Hey, Saints, what's today? Friday? It feels like a Saturday. Today's Friday. My wife's off up there visiting her dad. Minister Gail says hi. Um, tomorrow's Saturday. I may do this message tomorrow. 
the Lord, the Holy Spirit wanted me to search on Nebraska. But I was thinking of this. I have a message where I'm riding to the border of Nebraska and Illinois and Indiana or something like that. Uh, I'm not exactly. I know Nebraska was part of it. And I bought a, a white horse with Misty and we're running there. It's like in the millennium or something. It was very cool. But that's not what comes up. Only one video comes up when I put in Nebraska. So I think this is going to be a tomorrow message. Or if not tomorrow, it will definitely be Tuesday. We'll just see how. It, the title of this video, May 10th. My sister's birthday. And I was just talking about my sister. Little things like that. See, I'm not saying because May 10th is my sister's birthday, this is accurate. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying it's coincidental, but is it really, that I'm talking about my sister in this message that's now going to preempt the other message as an emergency in play uh, this weekend, uh, two days from now, the Lord willing, uh, that will be 6-6. Six, six. <clears throat> when I read Revelation 6, th this is really intensifying then, this could be another message. I'm torn. I think this message that I'm making right now is going to have to go everywhere on Patreon. This is going to go out to Patreon. Uh, this is going to go everywhere it can. Thank you for your support, Patreons. Others, please consider supporting this. Let me let me uh, stay on point, though, because part two, maybe I will put on uh, Patreon, but this is going to go on YouTube, and I don't care what YouTube says right now in Jesus' name or whether I said I'm taking a break or anything, this thing's got to go. So Sunday, this message. Everybody, if you're still listening, hit that thumb up. Sunday, this message. And I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit had me in tears in my eyes uh, over this message for some reason, then had me search Nebraska. So it says, Urgent Intercession Day 6. Are you kidding me? No, seriously. So Sunday, 6-6, six, six, for real, right? Let's... Trust but verify. Sunday is 6-6. Six, six. I believe I just said that. I, I believe the warning was Revelation 6. West coast to east coast. And this is uh, here in Nebraska. And I'm led to day 6. After hearing Neftali. After hearing the exact place of the earthquake. Because someone give God some glory and praise. Let's not just sit here and be like, oh, here's more information. Look what God is doing for us, saints, for us. Wretched sinners, look what he's showing. God is here. He is real. He is here. He loves you. God sent Jesus to die for you. Are you not saved? Please, Lord. Just, Lord, save him, Lord. Who are you listening right now? Uh, comment, email me. I got a website, anything. I'll pray for you. The Lord is tugging on some hearts. Come back Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 a.m. Uh, West Coast Time out here on Sunday. It will be live. And it's going to play that message. This is for somebody. It says a tidal wave or tsunami, right? That's the picture. Judged for not repenting. Interesting. Judge for not repenting. That's interesting. That's going to clang some bells on YouTube. Is, <laughs> is It is. Israel. Undoff. So what's Undoff? In Nebraska. The United Nations something or other. Yep. United Nations peacekeeping. Here it is. The United Nations Disengagement Observer Force, established May 31, 1974. <clears throat> yeah, the truth is always in the de details. Peace and safety, sudden destruction. What lie are they selling now? A ceasefire agreement in Israel. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what God has to say on the matter and his timing and his word and his plan. In Nebraska. Usually there's some scriptures. Usually I'll uh, 
put some notes in there, personal notes to Matthew 11 is the scripture. If you want to read that, I'm going to go ahead, hit stop. Do me a favor. This is a message for someone special. And I believe they're going to receive Jesus Christ as Savior. I'm not going to beg people to like and share this and all that. But uh, help. let's get this message out some way and let God touch his people. This, this is truth being revealed. God bless all of you. Anybody that listens to this, no matter what you may think of me or, or, or whatever it is, man, look. Just judge the fruit. Because then God gets the glory and not me. Amen.